Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So in this video, we are going to see about a new feature provided by Google Cloud to rename a Google Cloud virtual machine. So if you are working in a Google Cloud since a long time, you might have faced this issue at least once where you need to rename your GCP instance, but you could not rename. But a few months back, Google has provided features to rename the virtual machine using a gcloud command. But now recently they introduced feature to rename your virtual machine using a Google Cloud console. So in this video, we'll just play around that feature. What are the limitations of that feature? What things we need to take care of before using this feature? And if it will impact any of our current configuration if we are using this rename feature for GCP VM. So let's get started here. So here you could see I have one virtual machine created in my project. You could see the name is a instance one. So I'll log in into this virtual machine first and I want to show you a few things here. So before renaming, I'll just show you the disk name and the host name of this virtual machine and we'll validate that after changing the virtual machine name because these are the things it should be in sync with your virtual machine name. So your boot disk will always have the same name by default whenever you are creating a virtual machine. Okay, let me check the host name here. Okay, and let me check the FKD one also. So this will be your default FQDN. So this the naming format is always like your instance name. Then this will be your region and dot C and this will be my project name and this will be internal. Okay, so we'll see both the host name and FQDN name once we change the virtual machine name from the console. Now let's see how we can change virtual machine name using this rename feature. So first I'll open this virtual machine and I'll click on edit. So we have to click on edit first then only we'll see that rename option. But even if we click on uh, this edit, this will not allow us to change virtual machine, virtual machine name, VM instance name because the virtual machine state should be in stop status. So I'll go back, I'll first stop my virtual machine and then I'll try to rename it again. Okay, so I'll stop it. VM is stopped now, let me go on edit and try to rename the VM now. Yeah, so now it's allowing me to change my VM instance name. Now, remember one thing here, you cannot rename it to the name which is already exist in your VM. So that standard naming convention will still apply here. So I'll just rename it with the name instance underscore new. And I just show you one thing here. So before changing that, we'll validate the disk names. So I'll go to the disk and check the boot disk name for now. Yeah, so here you could see the boot disk name currently is instance hyphen one and it is attached to the instance instance hyphen one. So the boot disk name and the instance name are by default same whenever we are creating the virtual machine in a Google Cloud. So now I'll just change it to GCP hyphen new and I'll save it. So once I save it, this uh, page will throw an error because this page is having the instance name in URL whenever we are opening the instance name. So it will throw an error. So we have to just go back and again go to the VM instance page to open this VM instance detail page. Okay, so I'll show you the error once we get that error and it will say this resource not found or URL not found because URL will have the instance name which will be changed after this operations or after this operation is completed okay let me go back yeah so now this is changed to instance new let me start it and meanwhile we'll check for the disk name so we'll go back to the disks again and let me reload this page
so here you could see the disk name has not changed it's still is siphon one but your instance name is changed as an instance hyphen new so whenever in any of your production configuration or kind of infrastructure automation or a shell script you are expect accepting uh, the vm name and the disk name by default then you have to take care of this change whenever you are making change to your vm instance name okay so here a vm name and your boot disk name will differ here so let me go back to the vm instance and let me try to log in and we'll see the host name changed or it remains same the boot disk we saw boot disk name is not changed only the vm instance name changed so this was the earlier okay it got disconnected now let me close it okay so let me check the host name now yeah host name changed to instance hyphen new and let me check the fkdn name so this also changed to new instance name from instance one to instance hyphen new now i'll take one use case here so here if i set a custom host name while creating the vm and that is the most of the case whenever you are working in organization and you are joining your virtual machines to the ad domains or a domain controller okay so suppose instance i'll take the name as instance 2 and while creating i'll just give the custom host name so here i'll just give fkdn name as the instance hyphen 2 dot take capture dot com that will be my custom host name with the domain name and i'll create this and i'll log in and i will again validate renaming the virtual machine and check the parameters for this virtual machine so whenever we are having default host name there are no issues the host names are getting changed only problem is with the boot disk so boot disk is not changing its name and it will remain the same so that's the one thing you have to remember now we'll check for a custom host name how we can rename the virtual machine for custom host name okay so we'll log in into the virtual machine okay i'll check the host name here so instance hyphen 2 which is correct and host name hyphen f sorry i have missed space okay so it is instance hyphen 2 tech capture dot com now if i change instance hyphen 2 to something like instance hyphen 2 rename or instance hyphen rename then these two things should change as we saw in our first demo okay so now i'll stop this vm and i'll try to rename this vm i'll follow the same step which we followed for first demo then we'll open it in edit mode Yeah, so once it is stopped this option will be available for us currently it's not allowing me to edit so we'll wait vm to stop okay it's stopped now it's allowing me to rename so i'm changing it to rename instance hyphen rename okay I'll, or i'll just name it as a custom because we have set a custom host name instance hyphen custom we'll start it we'll log in and we'll see if it it's showing the same host name and same fkdn name so fkdm is nothing but a fully qualified domain name when your vms are joined to domain then it will have the vm name dot your domain name if you are working with xyz.com then once your vm is joined to domain it will be like instance dot xyz.com and that will be used in most of the cases along with a dns okay it's started now let me log in okay we are inside a vm so this is instance iphone custom let me log in here yeah we are logged in 
so let's check the host name now so it is still having instance hyphen 2 okay and let me cho check the host name hyphen f okay so it is having still having instance hyphen 2 tech capture dot com and if i show you here we already changed it to instance hyphen custom so whenever you are changing the name of the virtual machine which is domain join or which is having the custom host name then it won't reflect the change in the host names you have to manually change it inside your virtual machine so that's one thing you have to remember whenever you are having the virtual machine with a custom host name so whenever we are looking for other case so just take an example of other virtual machine which we changed in earlier case so here it's renamed with instance hyphen new because it is having the default host name we did not change or did not set any custom host name there okay so in that case it will work fine only thing is it will not have renamed boot disk but if you are having custom host name vm then you have to take care of your host name as well as the boot disk so you just need to take care wherever the boot disk name is used same as your virtual machine sometimes like what happened in our gcloud scripts or automation script we just put the boot disk name as same as the instance name so that script might fail so you have to take care of that scripts or any kind of configuration which is using boot disk name as the same as the instance name that we need to correct okay so apart from this we can change the virtual machine name from the console in google cloud and it won't impact on costing because costing will be based on your SKU ID. So you will see the documentation what is SKU groups and what is SKU ID. So just remember one thing that your ch charging or your billing won't impact due to the VM rename. And you cannot rename the virtual machine from the managed instance group, and that is the known fact. So only these two limitation I want to show you in this video. So hope you like this video and we'll see you in the next video.